three five-minute rounds if they need them in the cage warriors flyweight division Anders sanchez in the black and blue shorts lerner kavanagh in the black with gold trim trunks touch of gloves and we are underway do not blink in this one folks both of these guys fast hands and knockout power Slightly tentative start there before they start unloading. Nice kick to the inside of the lead leg there from Sanchez. Nice one two from Sanchez there. He looks to change levels. Good sprawl though from Lona Kavanagh. Nice knee up the middle. Beautiful kick to the body there from that south force stance. You heard the crack on that one. Goes up high that time. Sanchez a little bit marked up under that right eye now. And Kavanaugh looking like he's loosening up here. Sanchez really trying to get his hands on his man here. It's uh, Kavanaugh's ability to control the distance is just, you know, his movement in and out. Look how fast he can get in. He can land his strikes. He can get out of range. And I think, I think it's a smart move. I think that Sanchez, if he finds the opportunity, he's going to try. And we've seen it twice now. He hits his big overhand, and then he tries to take a, uh, go for a takedown immediately off of that. Sanchez switching up the stance of Tarapola. Gets the lead leg clipped out from under him there. Sanchez looking a little bit more tentative now. Kavanaugh just flicking out that right hand again. Takes the lead leg out and lands a beautiful straight right down the pipe. Kavanaugh doing a really good job of being a switch fighter here. He keeps changing that stance. And Sanchez just not able to get a good read on where he's coming from. Slight clash of heads there, I think, as they moved in. Doesn't seem to have done any damage, though. Counters a low kick with a straight right hand. Really good basics on display here from Lana Kavanaugh. really is mixing the attacks up he's not going to the well with any one thing Sanchez though trying to get in on that single leg yeah finally was able to get sort of the, the deepest the most control he's had so far but look at Lone is trying to looks like he's going for a guillotine here with that left hand might be switching over to the right hand but he's using it to kind of put pressure on and a lot of defense from Sanchez to get out of that so obviously there was a, a little bit of a, of a threat there otherwise Sanchez wouldn't have defended quite like that and it's a great way to force someone to give up a takedown attempt if you can get that form underneath the neck so really nicely done nice lead left hook there oh and a nice right hand from Sanchez Kavanaugh can't let the guard down here. Yeah, Sanchez moving in. Sort of record, oh, but we've got to there. We talked about Kavanaugh not being able to let the guard down. That's precisely why. That's a huge shot, and it's bloody the nose. Or oh, bloody, bloody the mouth, I believe, of Lana Kavanaugh. That's a very significant shot. Oh, absolutely dropped him. And Sanchez on the back now, but he's very, very high up. He needs to be careful. Lona's doing the right thing here, which is getting his hips very, very high and he reacts, he comes back down, and you don't want to be too high at this position. If you're too high up the back when you're looking to take the choke, then the angle that you're, you're, you're generating force at is wrong. So, oh, he switched to an armbar here. That arm is almost completely straight. He's going to try and roll him onto his back, and he's been unable to. That was so close, and he's making him pay for it now in top position. Wow. 
tries for the head kick as soon as Sanchez comes up. And the crowd firmly behind Lona Cavada now. I mean, Sanchez got to feel good that he put him down. He got the back, almost got the arm, but he's got to be a little bit disheartened about losing that arm bar because it did look pretty tight. And he is looking quite tired as well. I think he put a lot of energy into that exchange. Nice show of respect between these two young men yeah. at the O2. In London, England, Cage Warriors. 141. I believe the Cage Warriors 10th anniversary was Cage Warriors 48, so it just goes to show how many events we've put on in the last 10 years. And again, another big shot as Sanchez comes in and barrels in, looking for this takedown. Yeah, very, very nice immediate takedown defense by Kavanaugh there, getting that underhook. Kavanaugh definitely looking like he wants to keep this one at a distance, but he has to be aware of those big shots. Now, that's what I'd like to see a bit more from Sanchez, actually setting those shots up with a, with a nice jab, maybe a shot to the body first. Lona Kavanaugh probably not going to be get caught by the same trick twice. Kavanaugh's corner calling for the jab to just bait a reaction out of Sanchez so Kavanaugh can get that counter going. Both these guys five foot four, but Kavanaugh does look like he's got a little bit of range on his man. And maybe uh, Ander Sanchez had had his hair spiked up when they were... <laughs> They were taking that measurement. I actually used that trick with the old Mohawk. <laughs> Go around claiming I was six foot three. <laughs> Almost a back fist style jab there from Sanchez and switches and throws the straight, but he got clipped oh. around again. Immediately, I mean, almost fell backwards there into a takedown. Kavanaugh was coming forward so much that he actually almost took him down off of it. And now they're just throwing down. Kavanaugh's got to be careful, though. We know how much power Sanchez packs in those big swinging haymakers. He certainly has that. I mean, both guys do, as we saw in the last performances, have that one-shot fight-changing power. We've seen it already on display from Sanchez, but again, he has a leg kicked out from under him. And he looks like he might be walking a little bit gingerly on that lead leg now. Or the right leg, rather. He keeps changing stances. There's a reason he's changing stances. Something doesn't feel right. Both these guys can take a shot as well as give one. Again, the thudding left from Sanchez. This, I would say, uh, a much more even round than the one we saw in the first, but of course, Sanchez with that big knockdown, what are the judges going to maybe see that as something that evens up the round a little bit? My, my gut feeling it would be that Kavanaugh still wins that first round, but we shall leave all that to the judges. And again, both guys getting their shots off. The right eye of Ander Sanchez, a little bit of swelling underneath it now. It's been a high pace kept up for the first nine minutes almost of this contest. And of course we're experiencing an unusually hot British summer here, so you're going to wonder if the humidity is going to affect them. Kavanaugh turning up the, te the, uh, the temperature though with a nice combination there. And again, the leg goes out from underneath Ander Sanchez. Yeah, the timing on those kicks are just beautiful. I think he's sat him down four or five times in this fight so far. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to get frustrating as well. You know, not only are you having to pick yourself up off the canvas, it's disrupting your flow. There's a nice left hand from Kavanaugh. I mean, and it's also doing damage to the leg itself. 
Yeah, as you say, Dan, we've seen him, uh, we've seen him switch stances quite a few times now. I think that last one was, was just a slip there. I mean, Kavanagh's movement, his head movement, his, his range control is just... It really is fantastic. We saw it in his last fight, and we're seeing it again in this fight. Good second round between Anders Sanchez and Lona Kavanagh. The crowd really getting behind Kavanagh. Touch of gloves. And neither of these guys are fighting like they're after a judge's decision here. Back fist from Anders Sanchez. Another cuffing right hand. Kavanagh going back to work with the kicks there. He's been very happy to take the outside position and just step around his opponent. He likes the fact that Anders Sanchez has to lunge in to land those big shots, gives him the opportunity to throw the straight counters. Again. And this time trying to really make him pay for it. If you can catch him on the way up with a head kick or mm. a big wide hook, that could spell disaster for Ander Sanchez. Lana Kavanagh, just 23 years of age, incredibly made his debut back in 2013 as an amateur. So this is a young veteran we're seeing in the cage here. And again kicks the leg out and goes straight upstairs with the right high kick. Got caught there to Kavanaugh. He's got to be careful with those big looping shots. Nice jab from Sanchez. Sanchez told us during the week that he was expecting a tough fight against a very good rival. And he said he could guarantee that both of them would go out and give everything for victory and leave it all in the cage. And that's certainly what we're seeing here. Cavanaugh just told us that more than anything, he was just excited to get back in the yellow gloves and show everybody what he can do. And He's certainly putting on a show here against Ander Sanchez. Another big right hand from Kavanaugh. Left hand, beg your pardon. These flyweights are too fast for me to keep up <laughs> all the time, Dan. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Oh, a beautiful combination there. Caught him with the left. Went down to the body as well, briefly. Sanchez, though, still thrown with power. Good boy, Lord. There's a lot of swelling on the lip of Lerner Kavanagh, but I think that was all from that one big mm. shot in the first round. Kavanagh's corner there saying maybe try the takedown with 90 seconds left to play with. I mean, it would be interesting. Kavanaugh's kind of so much in control here. You have to think we're at the stage of the fight where, where Sanchez is going to start taking even more risks now. Yeah. Oh, huge head kick. I think the gloves took some of the impact, but not all of it. Spinning back kick to the body from Kavanaugh. Another crisp combination. Sends the sweat flying off Ander Sanchez. Looking for the spinning spin back elbow there, maybe? Yeah, it looked like it, didn't it? Well, maybe have to see a replay of that one. Kavanagh stalking his man down, though. Trying to find a home for those fast hands. Oh, and there we the go. Take there is the take down. He gets it. I mean, 40 seconds to work. It's going to be interesting what he does from here. They are right in front of us, so we can have a great look. 
into Butterfly Guard here. Goes Sanchez. Tries to invert. Thinking about grabbing a leg, looks like, for a second there. Kavanaugh makes him pay in the stand-up. 20 seconds left, and he's really turning on. You know, this is what you love to see, is someone who... It does seem like they, they've been dominant at least the last couple of rounds, and still, with 20 seconds left, really trying to knock their opponent out. Final 10 seconds. Let's see if one of them can land another big shot, looking for the spinning kicks. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Oh, the Kavanaugh thinking he's playing Tekken 3 there. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your judges score this contest 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. In favour of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the red corner.